So one of the awesome custom homes, the name is Cherish OS. Latest version is out, which are the things have been included in this version. This home actually have a lot of new things. And with this version, I found one of the most interesting feature, which I did not got in any other custom home, which is that feature I'll talk about all those things in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. Of course, based on Android 13 is what we are talking about. The Cherish OS version is 4.2. And yes, with the November security patch, of course this is the thing we have the november security patch included this is the first thing by the way i made a video i have i had shooted the video about cherish was maybe around four or five days ago but because of some scheduling kind of things i was not able to publish the video so yes it's coming a bit late but i think so it's still on time we have face unlock this is the first thing because at that time when i shoot that video about cherish was the face unlock was not actually included in many custom rooms but after that it's there and and face unlock is actually good one thing is a little bit disappointed maybe because i'm using it be noted uh, the face unlock is not so fast i'm not sure the why maybe just because of my device but face unlock compared to evolution x or compared to any other custom home, this face unlock is not so fast not sure about that and this is the feature which i was talking about why i actually made a video on this version maybe i was i was looking to skip the video skip this or uh, this video choice but then i thought about this this one the option which we are talking about is a squiggle animation let me just pause it once and play it this is a simple kind of media play animation progress bar which you have in every android 13 or maybe any android custom home which we have but if we enable this option called show squiggle animation and if i simply pause and play this music track once again okay this is far better than that android 13 and by the way it's almost same like that of course but the thing is the option is super good i mean you have the option to disable that you have the option to enable that this might be a good thing for you this might not be a good thing for you it's your own preference so if you like this you can use this or you can simply ignore this thing we also have some private dns options and previously as far as i know only one or two were there now we have approximately five dns options cloudflare ad guard open dns clean browsing dns and quad 9 dns so better browsing experience for you so whichever you want to use you can it's totally up to you i mostly use ad guard dns and that is quite helpful for me if I move on to the battery stats, one more thing which we found here is this battery stats. You'll be able to see the design battery capacity, current battery capacity, which means it will give you the idea about how is your device battery health. Is the battery health good and how many charge cycles have been completed? So this is actually quite useful and this should be there in every custom home, in my honest opinion. This is very useful. Another thing which is of course super good is smart charging. You need this thing. If you want to use this thing, you can. I think I found an article on XDA that they said the smart charging is actually not working or maybe smart charging is not good for your device battery health. So not going to comment about that. Here we have some camera related things and uh, yes as expectedly as far as i know this is aperture camera available with lineage os available with uh, maybe one or two more custom homes this camera is uh, maybe better than graphene os i think so it's up to you it's totally up to you if you want to use this thing or not i think so as far as i know most of the users actually use actually use gcam on their devices or even some use open camera so if you still need a better choice or a better default camera, I think still this is a good choice. I mean, the normal AVCP camera is not so good, but this is better. One more thing, because we were talking about camera, one more thing, we have additional information. So whenever you open app info, you will see additional information. You can see this is aperture camera, of course, target SDK and minimum SDK, which means it will only work with Android 13 for now. And when it is installed, because it's a system app, that is why installation time is a bit different. But whenever you install any third party app, you'll see some more information about that. So that's also super good. Other than else, things are basically same about this custom room. This is Cherish OS. Customizations are there. We have many customizations, status bar, quick setting themes, etc. You can see all of the useful customizations are there, which you can go and explore. And I don't think so. It makes sense to show all of these customizations because most of you guys are already aware of these. So these were things I just want to let you know. I hope you like this. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this. Goodbye.